you need a private reading, all the information is below. My website's right there. I've also included my Instagram link as well. Sometimes I say bad words. Let's just get that out in the open, all right? Oh, the Seven of Cups options, all right? Maybe some confusion around a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries. All right, let's see what's up for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, from now through the 11th in love. Check it out and see what's up. All right, so these cards have been nice and pre-shuffled. We're going to cut it, and we're going to get right to it, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. All right, coming into the current moment, what do we have? Well, we have the big fat sun. I love that card. All right, sign of Leo, major for Leo. We did see that king of wands at the bottom of the deck, too. All right, what's your challenge to the sun? It's the ten of cups. Some of you guys are married, have kids. On your mind, what's up? The nine of wands. Been through some shit, Capricorn, with that nine of wands. All right, what happened in the recent past? Ooh, hello, lover. Take my cup, two of cups, soulmate. Soulmate, soulmate. What's the situation? The four of swords. Some healing going on here, too, with that sun and four of swords. Coming into the near future, you do have the five of cups. Wah, wah, wah. All right, I'm going to adjust that camera. How do you see yourself right now? The queen of wands, Capricorn energy. Capricorn. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Typically Aries for me. What's going on in your environment? The Ace of Cups, that's what they're bringing. New love, possibly, or healing. In your emotions, Capricorn, you have the Page of Swords. Hi, little fella. This is my let me tell you when your milk expires card. All right, little spy, curious. Outcome, we have the Magician. So, major for Virgo, Gemini. All right, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. The Two of Wands and the Three of Cups I just saw. All right, so let's adjust you so you can actually see your cards. Probably be helpful, wouldn't it? All right, moving you back here. All right, let's take a look and see what the hell is going on for Capricorn. So with your overall energy as the two wants a decision, maybe between two people, two paths, maybe you're at a distance from this person, thinking about traveling to see them, could be. All right, let me take a look here. I'm going, so you guys, I used the traditional Rider weight here, but it's a special edition. I just got it from my local um, spiritual store. It is the Radiant Wise Spirit. So people have been asking, not sure if it's on Amazon or not, but that's what it is. All right, let's get through this. I'm going to shuffle my clarifying deck, and we're going to see what the hell is going on with Capricorn from now, <clears throat> if I could speak, from now through the 11th of September. What's up for Capricorn? A lot of healing going on here, waiting strong ass connection living in the past a little bit though all right you guys are taking some action you're getting your mojo back though but you are at a little bit of a crossroads or they are okay is what i'm seeing capricorn sun moon rising venus all right let's do it one more shuffle and we're gonna see what's up capricorn and love please so typically my messages are love but just take it however it resonates all right for you one more shuffle and we're gonna dissect this bad bitch of a reading capricorn we are all right let's see what's up all right let's check it the overall energy is this two of wands why is this here for capricorn's overall energy this two of wands what is it what is it and what is it now it's the seven of wands somebody's guarded here a little bit defensive here because they're indec there's indecision going on and it's making somebody in the equation here guarded, not really sure, a little bit protective. Why is the seven of wands here? Very defensive. Yeah, the ten of swords. Somebody's afraid of getting hurt here is what I'm getting. All right, with that ten of swords, I don't necessarily think something's ended already. For some of you, it may have. But because somebody has a decision, whether that's people or a path to take or something like that, somebody's energy is very guarded and defensive because they're afraid of getting hurt with the ten, ten of swords okay so that's the overall energy you gotta make a decision and get out of that ten of swords the fear anxiety you know betrayal this could be because of past love too right and so we've got some fear coming in though right now you have the sun sign of leo what's this about why is the sun here right now well the star in reverse 
Remember, the Sun card brings clarity and illumination. It is a positive card, but it's also about seeing things clearly. And it may be that somebody, again, coming into the current moment, is seeing clearly that maybe you can't manifest something, or you your wishes aren't coming in, or that you have to kind of give up hope on something. The star energy with Aquarius there. Okay. Somebody's afraid. They're starting to kind of lose hope or faith here. Um, some of you have kids with this person too. The challenge is going to be to get like the end all be all with that 10 of cups completion on a, on an emotional level, the happy family, the happy dog and the happy hamster. All right. Yeah. Because of the 10 of pentacles, two tens. I'm feeling like obviously commitment and that kind of thing is the challenge right now. And, and I think it's because somebody's just too defense, you know, defensive. And also, just can't make a decision here. But somebody's seen clarity on this. On your mind, Capricorn, is the Nine of Wands. Very fearful, protective, cautious. Why is this um, Nine of Wands here? But, you know, we'll persevere. See, again, the Two of Swords. It's either you that's indecisive or it's them. But with the Two of Swords, again, another two indecision, but more so, like, in your, men you know, mental thoughts here, your mentality I can't make a decision. I can't take off the blindfold. Somebody may be ignoring somebody here too, but on your mind is, you know, what else do I have to do? I've been to hell and back. Take off the damn blindfold, says Capricorn, right? Where that's your energy. Now the past, another two. Partnerships, decisions, the two of cups. Why is this two of cups here in the past for Capricorn? What is it? Seven of pentacles waiting. Past energy. So in the recent past, there is this emotional offer, a very strong partnership, connection, probably soulmate shit, right? With the Seven of Pentacles, there was some reflecting going on to the past here, waiting, right? I've put X, Y, Z into this. What's going to become of it? Well, we don't know because somebody won't take off the blindfold and make a decision. Situation is the Four Swords. Could be healing. What's this Four Swords though? But it could also be somebody's just not doing anything. They're pulling away. Why the Four Swords? The Three of Pentacles. It's all about building, right? Collaborating, getting on the same page. And again, I feel like somebody in the equation has pulled away from that. They're trying to get their thoughts together on if they want to build, if they if they see eye to eye, if they want to collaborate in this. And because somebody's healing or kind of pulling away, getting their thoughts together about how to build for the future, because of this, Somebody else is starting to say, hey, wait a minute, maybe I'm not going to be able to manifest this. Maybe my wishes aren't going to come in because somebody's too guarded. So coming into the near future, you've got the five of cups. So the challenges with that five of cups. Why is this here? Scorpionic energy, the knight of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The knight of swords is in pursuit of something. Something quick, right? That the Knight of Swords is very, very fast energy. They're coming, they're going. They normally have something to get off their chest, like something to communicate. But a lot of times this Knight of Swords is just heading out. It's an arrival or a departure. Why the Knight of Swords coming into the near future for Capricorn? See, again, the sun seen clearly could be just too much drama with that knight of swords right give me one more card on the sun leo energy see the knight of wands leo again we have two knights here so again because of somebody's indecision what you'll experience coming to the near future is some sadness some loss or disappointment here but you're seeing it clearly what are you seeing clearly that maybe this energy is more knight form right and it's all due to they just kind of withdraw you know, they pull away here when things start kind of getting happy again. I'm almost getting the sense that you're dealing with somebody who's either in denial of the partnership. We know it's there, but they're kind of in denial of it. They come, they go. It's very flighty. You see yourself, Capricorn, as the Queen of Wands. Some of you have um, maybe Aries in your chart somewhere. What's this Queen of Wands about? The Four of Pentacles. Security. Pr very protective energy as well. With the Queen of Wands, it's all about taking action. It's feeling desirable. It's going after what you want. What's this Four of Pentacles? That's your energy, stability. The Nine of Cups. You have a wish here. You have something that you want to emotionally satisfy you. And I think that a lot of you guys are still holding on to this, but you're dealing with this person who just can't get their shit together is what it feels like. All right. 
What are they bringing though? So going on in your, in your environment, the energy they're bringing is the Ace of Cups. Why is this here? The Strength card, more Leo. A lot of you guys are dealing with a Leo or you have Leo and heavy in your chart. Why the Strength? Let's do one more card on the Strength. Why? The Devil. Desire. The Devil can be toxicities, obviously. But with the Ace of Cups and the Strength and the Devil, I feel like this person can't let you go either. It's almost like you guys are marrying each other. But somebody's afraid to go from Knight to King. What the F is what I say, right? This person loves you. They do. I don't feel like this Knight is like player energy. I think this is just more their energy. But what you'll find is it leaves you in that Five of Cups energy. And it's all this all has all to do with pulling away and not being able to break free of some sort of mental, you know, shit, basically. The strength in the devil card, the strength can be a very strong attraction. Yes, it can be kind of pulling back or taming yourself. I'm not getting that though here. I'm not. Not with that devil. The devil in the strength card is very, very strong energy. It's a very strong pull. Now, in your emotions though, Capricorn, you have the page of swords. Still curious about something. Maybe keeping an eye on someone or them. You, right? Why is this page of swords here? A little pesky guy. The emperor, so sign of Aries. But the emperor is also about regaining order and stability into a situation. You're trying to bring that back together, right, with somebody who just keeps pulling away. The emperor energy is, you know what, this is also like how it's going to be. A lot of you guys want to communicate the truth, too, because the page of swords can be a little bit cutting, but it's typically the truth through communication. It's kind of like this is how it is, and it's with the emperor energy. You know, my way or the highway. Like, I am in control of the situation. You guys are very powerful, especially with the Queen of Wands, the Emperor. A lot of you guys have Aries in your chart, maybe dealing with an Aries. But also with that Four of Pentacles, you know what you want. Like, you're going after your wishes here, and you're going to let it be known. Um, the outcome has the Magician, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini energy. Why is this Magician here in the outcome for Cap? Ricorn, the Page of Wands, more Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Manifesting. I feel like you have this connection that you have with this person is very magnetic. It's very strong. There's like a sexual chemistry. There's like flirting, and it's, you know, the Page of Wands and the Magician is almost like this person just looks like a big, fat, shiny treat. They're usually typically very good looking, very charismatic. It's all about manifesting and having the power here with that magician. And the Page of Wands, yeah, it's communication, right, going back and forth. But it's also manifesting, okay? You guys are going to continue to manifest. It's almost like this person, no matter how hard they try to pull back, that you're dealing with. And remember, this could go vice versa. It's like, haha, ha, joke's on you. You can't, they can't go anywhere. It's too much of a draw. Why is this page of wands here? I'm, it's like, what the hell? They might as well just give up because what's this page of wands here? And the outcome, the world manifesting. Again, reaching a goal. Look, the world doesn't always have to be endings. The world is learning lessons and reaching a goal. It's also, you could be at a distance, but also, I mean, the world is, this person means the world. It can be a soulmate card as well. Why the world? And so they have a hard time breaking away. Yeah, look at that, the magician again. Gemini, Virgo, energy, the world, the magician, the page of wands. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of, um, it feels like a magnet that this person is like, pull it, pull it towards you. And it's kind of cute because in the foundations, the four swords and the three of pentacles. Good luck with that. Whomever you're dealing with, they can't go anywhere. You know, they're trying. They're also kind of taking a minute to see things clear. You guys are starting to see it clearly. I mean, it could be them, too. Somebody is losing hope or faith, but it's not really stopping you, Capricorn. You still feel confident. You have your mojo. And here's this person. They're in love with you. They have love. They try to hold back, but they're stuck. They feel a very, very strong connection. What the hell do I title this video? Good luck. You're not going anywhere.